All right, guys, what's going on? Cooper Harley here. Welcome back for another ESO video. Today, we've got the official release of the event guide for the Witches Festival in 2023. Recently, we actually made a video kind of going over what to expect, and we made a lot of hypotheses about what, you know, maybe the timing of things and, and whatever. Turns out a lot of people were guessing between um, this past Thursday and when it actually is going to happen, which is going to start next Thursday. And the reasoning was if the if the event, let's just scroll down to the bottom of this article. This is on ESO Hub. I'll include the link to this article at the bottom of the video, but you can actually see the past event dates here. So if you were to look at the dates, you would see most of them are around the 20th of October. Um, events usually start on um, Thursdays and they end on Tuesdays. They're usually about 12 days. So a lot of people had hypothesized that the event was going to start on the 19th. But the problem was, is that that would actually end on October 31st, which is Halloween at 10 a.m. So it wouldn't even encompass Halloween, which is essentially, you know, what this event is about. Right. So everyone ended up guessing um, that it was going to be like next Thursday, which is fantastic. So it will completely encompass Halloween. It'll go from Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, October 26th to November 7th, which is a Tuesday, at, um, at 10 a.m. Um, two things. Number one, um, super pumped for this, but this is going to coincide with the release of Update 40 um, for PC Mac. So just, just keep that in mind. I'm actually very excited about this. I'm, I personally have a lot of this stuff already. I'll be you know getting my daily tickets, my daily event tickets and stuff like that. But like you can see these motifs here, the Dremora and Holojack um, motifs are going to be available again. These things are worth like literally a thousand gold a pop or something, even less than that most of the time. So I have no personal reason to, you know, farm these out and collect them. I've already got most of the recipes and all that. So I personally don't mind, but I do know that some people are just beyond excited um, for update 40. They want to hop into Endless Archive as soon as possible. I don't think that's a problem though. You know, update 40 is always going to be there. I would definitely prioritize the event over anything because we only get this once a year, right? All right, so let's go ahead and just pop back up to the start of the article and we'll break down what to expect for this year specifically. Okay, how to participate here. So you're going to want to go to the events section of the Crown Store. This is where you can get all the free quests um, for any of the events that pop up. There's going to be a quest called the Witch Mother's Bargain. This is going to give you the Witch Mother's Whistle Memento. So if you have already participated in any ESO Witches Festival previously, um, you will have this. However, while it is a memento, it is not going to be under the memento section. It'll be under tools. So just keep that in mind. So go under collections and then go to tools. And if you have completed this before, you'll see that. All you have to do is slot this on your quick slot wheel and you'll be able to use this, which is great. When you use this, this is going to give you um, the double XP buff. So you want to make sure that you're using this every time it drops. This is a double XP event. So, you know, if you've been holding off on making characters, if you've been waiting to grind up some CP a little bit, now's the time. OK, this is going to be absolutely awesome. Um, you can also use the Witch Mother's Cauldron if you want to transform your character into an undead look like this guy here. Okay, so the big event collectible, um, I don't know if I should say collectible, the big event like Coffer or whatever, they're going to be called Plunder Skulls. Okay, and so this section here, we go over what Plunder Skulls are and how you can get them. Okay, so these are the reward containers, like we said, and they drop from defeated bosses and can contain a whole bunch of rewards, right? So defeated bosses is very general, and that's because it's meant to be. So literally all types of bosses, world bosses, trial bosses, arena bosses, delves, public dungeons, all the stuff, okay? That's all who's gonna drop these, these um, Plunder Skulls, okay? So they can have alchemy reagents, they can have a Halloween-themed furnishing recipe, provisioning recipe, you can have just straight up furnishings for Halloween, um, you can get Holojack and Dramora style items. Those are good. I usually just, like I said, I have a ton of these things. So I end up just sending them to all my friends that, that need them. Um, there's still so many in all the guild stores all the time because people just collect these like crazy. 
Um, but I know a lot of people really enjoy the hollow jack style. So, you know, get you that style, man. Okay. And then in addition, the first boss of each type that you defeat each day. So the first time you do a delve boss, the first time you do a public dungeon boss, arena boss, dungeon boss, across the board, you get a Dramora Plunder Skull. Okay. It's not just a normal Plunder Skull, a Dramora Plunder Skull. And in this, you have a chance to get a Dramora motif chapter. A Witch's Festival writ, which is a crafting quest specifically for the Witch's Festival. A Glenmoral Glen treasure map or Glenmoral armor outfit style page. So those are cool. Those are worth something. A Grave Dancer weapon style page. Those are great. And then newly, you've got a Tome of Forbidden Appetites memento rune box. A Witch's Festival ghost netch pet fragment. And then tradable style pages for the Crowborn hunter outfit styles. So the two things that I'm going to be wanting to really collect during this are going to be, if I'm missing any of the Grave Dancer weapon style pages, um, the main stuff's going to be the new styles, honestly, and then catching up with old styles if I didn't have those, right? So the Glen Moral and the um, Grave Dancer style pages, I want to make sure I have all of those, obviously. But the main thing this year is going to be getting that new Ghost Netch pet and then the um, Crowborn Hunter outfit style. That actually looks freaking awesome. Okay, so now you can see, so this is a picture down here. We'll just look at it real quick. This is the Crowborn Hunter outfit style. Um, so this is what we can collect style pages for. So that's pretty awesome. Here you've got a breakdown of the types of bosses and the types of motifs that will drop from each one. So you don't get a motif chapter, um, a random one from any boss, right? Like they're specific. So if you want to get bows or legs, you go to Arena. So that would be Maelstrom, Dragonstar, um, Vatishran, or what is that? Black Rose Prison. Invasion bosses. So I I would think about these like dolmens. So Dark Anchors, um, Oblivion Portals, Harrow Storms, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I would probably say Bastion Nimix as well. You're going to have a chance to get daggers or gloves. Delve bosses, you can get staves and belts. Dungeon final bosses, so these are group dungeons. Um, helmets or maces. Public dungeons, quest bosses. I don't know what a sweeper boss would be. Um, maybe that's the, um, I don't. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> That'll be shields or boots. Trial final bosses, swords or chests. And then world bosses will be shoulders and axes. So they're really trying to drive you into the different avenues of um of gameplay and the different areas of pve that you can experience right so make sure that you're hitting all of these and you can kind of target based on like you know whatever you're missing just go in there and farm that stuff until you get your drops right find an arena that you enjoy doing you know i think like if you pop into maelstrom on normal that's going to be a super super easy um arena that you can farm that's also solo, right? Um, Vatishran's probably the same way. It's a little bit newer if you like the style better, but I think Maelstrom's a little bit easier on normal. Um, invasion bosses, go to Alakir Desert. Um, there is a really, really good Dark Anchor kind of dolmen loop. All you have to do is go into chat, and if you're on console, you would just type in LFDG, looking for dolmen group, or you can go on PC because we have add-ons. You can type X, Y, and Z in three separate messages. So X and then Y and then Z. And a lot of people have um, add-ons that basically have an auto invite feature um, for groups there. Um, delve bosses, pick any delve you want. Probably the beginning zones are gonna have the shortest, quickest uh, delves that you can pop into. Public dungeons, the same thing. Um, I wouldn't focus on quest bosses. I would definitely find a public dungeon that you enjoy doing. Um, one thing is there's going to be a lot of really popular public dungeons like the ones in Vardenfell, for instance are pretty popular um and what i want you to think about is a million people are going to be in there doing that stuff so you actually being able to farm these efficiently is probably going to depend on how many people there are obviously um so i would recommend going somewhere um that is not popular i would just go to some random zone and go into some random public dungeon and farm the bosses there because you'll be able to quickly go from boss to boss to boss and not have to worry about a bunch of competition. Trial final bosses. You can hop in normal cloud rest, normal sunspire. Um, these are pretty quick um, trials. Normal Ethereum archives also pretty quick. 
um, and that'll allow you to get those. And then world bosses, honestly pick any world boss. I'm sure there's gonna be a million people just farming world bosses to get all this stuff, okay? The Crowborn Horror Extra Loot. When you defeat the creepy beast, the Crowborn Horror, you will receive a special Dramora Plunder Skull that has a small chance to grant you incredible offerings of tradable Witches Festival items instead of the regular Dramora Plunder Skull loot. So you can get 10 Witch Tamed Bear Dog Fragments, up to 10, um, to create that, the full style book for the Dramora motif, a folio of all Glenmoral treasure maps, the Tome of Forbidden Appetites rune box again, and then a random Crowborn Hunter outfit style page. Um, in order to actually fight that, you're gonna have to complete the quest Plucking the Crow. All right, so how to earn event tickets. So you can get two tickets maximum each day, okay? So keep that in mind. So these event tickets, you can also, if you're missing out on some, like if you're coming in late, you can buy them on the crown store, although I would never recommend doing that. I would recommend just earning them yourself. It is two event tickets per day per account. It's not per character. Um, you go to this lady here. Pretty much every large city is going to have um, the Empresario present. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. They're, you're going to have the um, Empresario present. You're also going to have the event assistant merchant. So they're going to have all sorts of stuff, okay? So here you can see we've got all three Passion Dancer Blossom pet fragments. The first fragment for the Horde Hunter Ursoc. This is awesome. So I actually made a video on this when this was data mine. This is the new mount coming. So we've got three events before the end of the year, including the Witches Festival. In this event, we're going to be able to get the first of four fragments. Okay. So typically what you do is for anyone that's unfamiliar or maybe just hopping into ESO, you have to have this, there's a seasonal pet that you have to create first, and then you can morph that into a number of different things depending on the fragments you have. So you can morph the pet into a personality sometimes if that's what the focus is, a costume. It was a house previously. Mounts are pretty common. Um, so right now, the big thing is going to be getting the fragment for the horde hunter ursoc mount here okay so each of the passion dancer blossom pet fragments is going to be five event tickets so you're going to need 15 event tickets to create the passion dancer blossom pet first and then you're going to need 40 event tickets total to get all four fragments for the horde hunter ursoc but during the witches festival you can only get one fragment so you just need 10. so in total starting from scratch currently in this event you would need 25 event tickets to get all of the pet fragments and to get the horde hunter ursoc fragment okay the other things that she will be selling if you're not interested in the horde hunter ursoc you just don't really care about that stuff you're more fashion is in game right you can purchase the crowborn hunter outfit style pages you can purchase fragments for the ghost netch you can purchase the Tome of Forbidden Appetites, whatever. What I would say is never spend your event tickets on that stuff because all of that stuff is farmable. All you have to do is go to Overland, farm your Dremora Skulls, and you'll have plenty of opportunity to get these things. You can also buy these with gold after the event. A lot of people are going to be farming these. They're going to get duplicates. They're going to throw it up on the Guild Trader, and you're going to be able to purchase these or farm them. What I would say is the Horde Hunter Ursoc fragments and the pet fragments up here, you cannot buy those. The only way that you can actually um, retrieve these from the Impresario is with event tickets. You cannot purchase these with gold. Um, and, you know, after the event's gone, you gotta wait. You can't earn any more event tickets, right? So just keep that in mind. So I would prioritize things that you're unable to farm and earn. Um, in game at pretty much any time, you know, you could wait until after this event and just buy up all of these Crowborn Hunter outfit style pages. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Other things you can buy assorted spooky witches festival themed furnishing like webs. Uh, oh, the web cone furnishing. So it's like a cone shaped massive web. Okay. Hollow Jack lantern. So this would be a pumpkin, a glowing pumpkin, specimen jars, ruby candle fly gatherings vampiric lamps, 
vampiric light posts, etc. You can also buy group repair kits, those are pretty cool. Um, and companion guild commendation. So each guild commendation, let's say you bought a companion mages guild commendation, that's going to raise the level of the mages guild in their skill line um, by one level per commendation. Okay. And then the witch's grab bag. So there's a bunch of stuff that will be in the witch's grab bag um, that's basically from prior events. And you're only going to be able to get that if you haven't um, gotten some of the stuff before. Okay, so this is what that ghost net actually looks like by itself and then what it looks like next to a player. So that's pretty funny. It looks like you just threw a bed sheet over one of the netches. I think that's hilarious. So in the witch's grab bag, here's a bunch of the rewards that you can get. So most of these are mementos. One of them is the, um, the witch tamed bear dog pet fragment. Um, so all of this stuff, again, you could buy this right now on the um, guild stores but um this is a good way to get this stuff if you like i've always thought this witch's bonfire um was pretty cool you interact with it and it turns all different colors you get green normal fire purple i just think it's cool right but the witch mother's servant outfit style pages is what i would be interested in because there's a lot of times where uh, these events come by and i've been busy in the past or something and i haven't been able to fully engage with the event as much as i wanted to so this is nice that you're able to get this stuff um again and then there's also the impresario's assistant the event assistant like i was talking about you can buy he has a separate inventory um, from the impresario so you can get the unstable morpholith fragments which is the glowing kind of smoldering lava rock pet um from the blackwood year and then the Dagonic Quasi-Griff Fragments, that's a big um, black bird uh, mount. It's like one of those really big heavyweight um, kind of griffin looking mounts, but it's all black, so you can get those. You've also got the Indric um, vendor in Belkarth, which is the main city in Craglorn. You can go find her, and you can start getting fragments for the different Indrics if you're interested. Um, let's see. This is the Crowborn Horror, the quest that you'll get each day that you can go kill, which is fantastic. Okay, so th this is the good stuff. This is what I kind of wanted to get into. So you've got a whole bunch of recipes and then, you know, for food and drink, and then you've got a whole bunch of furnishing recipes. So I kind of wanted to go through and tell y'all about what's really good here. So the Witch Mother's Potent Brew is one of the best items um, that you can use as a Magicka DPS or a healer. Um, it's going to give you max magicka, max health, and a bunch of magicka recovery. So it's a very, very good item to have to learn um, and to actually use from a consumable standpoint. But which sugar skulls is the food that I use on 90% of my tanks. Absolutely love it. And then the bloody Mara stuff, that's going to give you great buffs, but it's also going to influence um, what stage of vampire you are, which is fantastic. And then you've got a whole bunch of furnishing recipes looks fantastic look at all of this witches event festival furniture man they've got just a ton of stuff so if you're looking to actually really deck out one of your houses and make it look halloween themed this is the time man this is when you want to grind out everything because you get so many different furnishings it's fantastic all right guys well that's pretty much it so it's it's looking very very good there's a ton of style pages this year remember a lot of these recipes for consumables and stuff are very, very useful for many builds. Make sure you have all of this ready to rock and roll. Remember, if you've never done this before, go to the event section in the Crown Store, pick up the Witch Mother's Bargain Quest, and that'll get you going. If you have done this before, just go to the Tool section in your collections, and that'll give you that Witch Mother's Whistle, um, and that'll get you going. This starts on Thursday. Um, October 26th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just keep that in mind. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Very excited to see all of y'all in game. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend if you're watching this when it drops or the rest of your week. All right. Thank you guys so much. See ya.